Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today we're going to do a comparison of two absolutely fantastic GPS smartwatches. They are the Honor Magic Watch in my left hand and the Amazfit Verge over here in my right hand. So this is a comparison of two absolutely fantastic GPS smartwatches. Uh, they both are available for a very similar price point and in the end it's just going to come down to a matter of which one has the features that you're looking for in a smartwatch. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start off the comparison with a comparison of the price of these two watches. So both are available right now for $159 from banggood.com. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking them out. Now the Honor Magic Watch does have a larger version of the watch that's available. It's called the Huawei Watch GT. The Huawei Watch GT is actually much more widely available. The Honor Magic Watch is a little less uh, available. Uh, like I said, it's $159 at banggood.com, but the Huawei Watch GT is slightly bigger, also has a bigger battery, uh, so better battery life, and that one is available for $199, whereas the Amazfit Verge is much more widely available, especially in the United States. You can actually pick this up directly from Amazfit. You can also pick it up at Amazon.com or, of course, from Banggood.com. So quick shout out to them for sending them out to me for review. All right, so now let's go ahead and compare the build quality of these two watches. So I'm going to go ahead and say right off the bat that my preference is for the Honor Magic Watch. And the reason for that is a couple things. Uh, number one, we have a metal bezel here versus an all plastic design over here on the Amazfit Verge. This one also has two physical buttons, whereas we just have that single physical button over here on the Amazfit Verge. This one also has 20 millimeter quick release bands, so you can easily replace them, whereas the bands over here on the Amazfit Verge are not not a standard size, so they are quick release, but they're less standard size. They're a little bit harder to replace, um, so that's just a slight complaint. I haven't actually looked for replacement bands for the Amazfit Verge because I'm just going to go with white and white here, um, but definitely a lot easier to replace the bands on the Honor Magic Watch. This one's also five atmospheres water resistant, whereas this one is IP68 water resistant. So in comparison, this one you can definitely take swimming, whereas you can probably take this one swimming without any issue. IP68 water resistance gives you up to nine meters uh, or sorry three meters of water resistance for up to 30 minutes whereas here you can pretty much stay underwater as long as you want as long as you don't go deep sea diving with it you're going to be fine this one will track swimming whereas the amazfit verge does not track swimming so if you're a swimmer definitely the advantage goes to the honor magic watch now uh, one other quick thing to note here if you want a larger version of the honor magic watch they do have the honor or the huawei watch gt it's bigger it's thicker uh, it does have a bigger screen this one has a 1.2 inch AMOLED display whereas the Amazfit Verge has a 1.3 inch AMOLED display now it would appear based off of what you see so far that this watch has always on display it actually doesn't um, what it has here is this one called Showtime um, and basically what that does is it keeps the watch on for five minutes or it keeps the light on for the well there it is screen always on for five minutes um, so that's the only version of always on display that you get here um, whereas with the Amazfit Verge basically you're just going to see that when I flip up my wrist it's going to turn on almost immediately and it does that very quickly um, but it does not have an option for always on display. All right, so now I want to go ahead and talk about what's arguably the most important feature of these two watches, and that is the actual activity tracking of the two. And for that, I'm going to give a slight advantage to the Amazfit Verge, and we'll talk about why that is in just a moment. But there are definitely some ways that the uh, Honor Magic Watch takes an advantage in the GPS tracking. So, uh, or actually, I should say activity tracking. Um, so I'm going to go down here, and we're going to click on this button down here. It's going to take us into all of our different workouts that we can track. So we have outdoor run, indoor run, outdoor walk, climb climbing, outdoor cycle, indoor cycle, pool swim, open water, and then this general other. So I'm a runner, so I'm going to go down here into the option for running, and you can see there's some running courses you can save as well. And we'll click over here on the settings so we can adjust our target settings so we can uh, set a target of how far we want to run, how many calories we want to burn, uh, and things like that. We have some reminders that we can set up in terms of heart rate and distance. And then we have some display options and smart companion, which basically is the same thing as uh, those uh, options that we had. Now, I'm going to go here into outdoor run and uh, show you what happens when we click on that. So let's see, let's see if we can get a heart rate. Okay, so I'm using my finger to try to let it get a heart rate sensor. And uh, you can see that it's going to try to collect GPS information. Once it does, we'll go ahead and hit play. And it'll actually allow us to uh, start the workout. Now, the disadvantage I give to this one is the fact that uh, once I hit play, um, it's going to basically just give me the option of these four things. So you can see it's going to track, uh, what is this here? 
uh, we have our heart rate at the top, our pace, our distance, and then our time. Now this pace is kind of like our current pace. It's just going to show us whatever our pace is at the moment. Um, and that's not always perfect. So it's not always the most accurate uh, pace. And this is pretty much what we get. What you see there is what you get. And we can swipe through here and get other things. Um, but you can't really adjust those first four things. So that's the disadvantage I have here with the Honor uh, Magic Watch here. So we can go ahead and stop it and we'll we'll stop and it'll say that obviously we didn't actually do anything yes we'll end the workout um, but I do like how quickly this got GPS so you saw that it got it in like 10 seconds and it is super fast to get GPS so uh, this one has both GPS GLONASS and Galileo so that's awesome that's why it gets such quick GPS locks over here on the AmazeFit Verge um, we have just GPS and GLONASS so no Galileo so it's a little bit slower to get GPS lock like you get over here I'd say in general this one takes about 30 seconds to get GPS lock. Um, if I go in here to sports, um, you can see I will be able to track uh, a number of different activities. And I'll show you what those are in just a little bit. Um, down here, if I swipe, I can adjust some settings. And again, basically the same thing I have over here. I can set some distance goals, some calorie burning goals, uh, and some uh, actual speed goals. Now this one's going to also try to get GPS lock. I'll let it go and see if it'll actually get it. I'm indoors, so I'm kind of not expecting it to. Generally, this one takes about 30 seconds to get a jump GPS lock, whereas over here it can just take as many as like five to 10 seconds. So very, very quick. Um, now, the reason why I give the advantage to the AmazeFit Verge is that down here, it's much more customizable what you actually see on the watch while you're actually working out. So I went into running and actually I should show you this real quick. So if we go into the AmazeFit Verge app, we'll get rid of that. Um, we'll come down here into activity and Okay, I'm getting all kinds of notifications here. So we have some real-time sports data settings. That's what we want to go to. Uh, and then I'm going to select running, but these are all the different activities it will track. So you can see there's a number of different options there. But I'm going to go into running since I'm a runner. And uh, the first four things you see on the watch is what it's actually going to show by default. So time, distance, pace, and heart rate. So pretty much the same thing you get over there. Um, however, you can see there's some other options here like average pace, distance gain, cadence, calories, and then there's some other options down here in terms of elevation as well. Um, so that's nice, but you can also customize it. So let's say instead of the regular pace, I want the average pace to show. So I can slide this up, and now the watch is going to show average pace while I'm working out instead of the pace. Uh, well, really, it's going to show these first four. Um, so whatever I have is the first four is what it's going to show on my main display. And then everything after that will show on the second page. So these will show on the second page. Um, so I like how customizable it is. That's a huge advantage. Uh, but then the other advantage I have to give to the AmazeFit Verge is the fact that it has storage for music. Um, so I have a, an entire playlist. I don't know how many songs, maybe 300 songs that I have on here. You can see it doesn't have GPS lock here. This one got it almost immediately. Um, but that's because I'm indoors. If I were outside, this would get it in about 30 seconds. Um, but the fact that I can listen to music, so I'll go back over over here and there it is there's some music I can listen to music while I'm running that is definitely a huge advantage that I give to the amazement version and honestly it's the main reason why uh, I don't love the Honor Magic Watch. If it had music storage, I would definitely say for without question, the Honor Magic Watch would be my watch of choice. But because I like listening to music while I run, I have to give the advantage to the AmazeFit Verge simply because of that. But if I'm looking at simply just the activity tracking, I would give the advantage to the Honor Magic Watch simply because the GPS is better uh, overall than what it is on the AmazeFit Verge. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about are the other smartwatch features that these watch ha watches have other than activity tracking. So I definitely give the advantage here to the Amazfit Verge, um, and that's par primarily because this one definitely just has more features in general. So we have the music, of course, which we don't have over here, um, but then other features that it has that you don't get over here on the Honor Watch GT, or Honor Magic Watch, I should say, um, is if you take a look here, you can see that my notifications actually show up uh, based off of what kind of notifications notification they are so you can see that's a gmail notification but i can click in here like to the strava notification you can see i got some kudos from a friend of mine tonight um but yeah, so it actually shows you the information there. Now you can't respond to them uh, like you can on some other watches, but you can't do that over here either. The difference here being on the 
honor magic watch let's see if it'll actually let me get to it okay so it says to charge but okay let's go back over here and slide up so you can see that all of these basically just show up as the same kind of message so and then again you're not allowed to uh, you can't do any kind of response to these um, but the other advantage I give to the Amazfit Verge when it comes to being a smartwatch is the fact that this one has a speaker and a microphone which means you can make and take phone calls as long as it's connected to an Android device again this will not work with an iPhone for making and taking phone calls but if you're connected to an Android watch uh, or Android phone I should say uh, you can make and take phone calls through the Amazfit Verge so that's definitely an advantage over here when it comes to smart watch features all right, so the last thing I want to talk about is the battery life of these two watches. So in general, I'd say they're both pretty much about the same. Uh, the Amazfit Verge may be just slightly less battery life, and that's primarily because I'm using it with GPS and music at the same time while I'm wearing it. Uh, so that's going to wear down the battery a little bit faster. But if you're not using those two features, you can get through about five full days of battery life on the Amazfit Verge with very light use. If you're using it heavily like I'm using it, more like two days to possibly three days of battery life. Where as with the Honor Magic Watch, generally I'm getting more like three days of battery life. And the reason for that is because, of course, this one doesn't have music, so I'm not using any kind of music connected to it uh, like I am with the Amazfit Verge. So that's why it's getting a little bit better battery life for me. Uh, if you're using it super lightly, basically you're about getting about the same amount of battery life that you get on the Amazfit Verge, about five full days. Now, the slight advantage I give to the Honor Magic Watch is just how it charges. So this one charges with this little connector here. So you can see there's just two little pin connectors. It's going to magnetize to the bottom, but then over here you can see it's going to use Type-C and it charges up quite fast, um, about an hour to fully charge this thing up, whereas the Amazfit Verge charges up with this proprietary connector, and that's really proprietary as well. Um, but on the other end, it just has a uh, USB over here, uh, and then you can see that you obviously have to use this one, and then it just slides into this case and then you charge up and it takes about two and a half hours so no fast charging by any means uh, with the Amazfit Verge so if I'm gonna have to give an advantage uh, I would definitely give the adva slight advantage to the Honor Magic Watch partially because it charges a little faster and because of the way it charges um, but overall battery life is basically about the same between these two watches overall all right, so I want to go ahead and conclude this video with a uh, just a quick mention of which one I think is the better of the two watches. And honestly, it's just going to be a matter of preference. If you want the one that's probably the better overall activity tracker, I'd say the Honor Magic Watch is definitely the better of the two. Not a huge difference, but there's definitely some advantages like the swim tracking. Also, the faster GPS lock that you get over here on the Honor Magic Watch. With the Amazfit Verge, again, it's still a great activity tracker, but you have the advantages of being able to use it for a phone call if you want to so obviously if you're using with an iPhone you can't do that but you have the music available and that's why I like the versatility of the Amazfit Verge also again the other advantage I like is mostly a smart watch feature and that's the fact that these uh, the notifications just look a little bit nicer they're a little bit better organized over here on the Amazfit Verge so in the end it kind of comes down to do you want the better smart watch features like you get on the Amazfit Verge or do you want just the better pure activity tracker like you get with the Honor Magic Magic Watch. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.